This local sports report is presented by the Guelph Minor Football Association, proudly developing players in Guelph for community high school and youth sports football for over 25 years. Learn more about their tackle and flag programs by visiting guelphminorfootball.net. Let's head to Exhibition Park in Guelph for D10 football action. The St. James Lions and the GCVI Gales meeting for their opening game of the high school season. The pair would kick off on Friday afternoon. Jumping into the first quarter and how about this start for the Gales on defense. It's a fumble on the handoff and Rowan Marlett jumps on it for the recovery. A good start for the Gales defense but the Lions would turn the ball over and bring out their offense once again. It's another handoff this time for Noah Donnell. He's trucking and Noah's good for a Lions first down. The Lions move downfield and here on the next play it's Caden Henry looking deep for Evan Nicholas Sevick. Evan brings it down and the Lions move into the red zone. A nice catch from Evan and Caden Henry would look for him again. It's a laser to the middle. Evan Nicholas Sevick snags it and he turns downfield and he's in there for the first touchdown of the game. So it's 7-0 St. James. Jumping to the second quarter now, the Gales punting and watch the return. Lamalachi Bedden picks it up and takes off right. Lamalachi takes flight and finds space down the near sideline. And he'd take it all the way to the house for another St. James touchdown. So it's 15-0 Lions. The Gales look to respond and it's a short pass for Nate Prince. Look out for the Lions defense. Jackson Moores forces the fumble and the Lions dive on top of it for the recovery. On that Lions possession and here they are deep in Gales territory looking to strike. Caden Henry takes off and looks for a pass. He's running out of space but he gets a pass off. Evan Nikolasevic brings it down in the end zone. That's Evan's second touchdown of the game. And it's 22 for the Lions. The Lions with a healthy lead but they wouldn't stop there. Lay in the quarter and it's more from St. James. Messiah Gordon in on the carry for the Lions. And he's in there for another St. James touchdown. And it's 29-0 Lions heading to the half. Jumping right to the fourth quarter, now the Lions back in the red zone looking to extend their lead. It's a good hit from Jude Dowd. He forces a fumble. Jackson Waite scoops it up. It's a foot race downfield. Jackson slips out a one tackle, but Tate Asselparty gets enough of him to bring him down short of a touchdown. The Gales offense needing to finish the job and it's Matt Robinson getting it done. He takes it over the line and the Gales are on the board. The crowd erupting for GCVI and it's 29-7 St. James. The Lions letting the shutout slip, but it's the St. James offense picking up where they left off. Caden Henry looks deep downfield for Evan Nicholas Sevick, and it's a beauty catch from Evan. He leaps up and brings it down, and the Lions set up downfield. On the following play, and it's Caden Henry throwing again. He finds Nick Mutzi in the middle, and Nick brings the Lions to first and goal. And here on first and goal, and it's Messiah Gordon tunneling through the middle for his second touchdown of the game. And it's 35-7 Lions. Final play of the game now. The Gales looking to add another to the board here on the long bomb. Cameron Sultana is in there for the game-ending interception. And the St. James Lions take it. So a good battle in the opening day of the D10 regular season. And in the end, it's the St. James Lions taking it. This one ending with a final score of 35-7 on Friday afternoon in Guelph.